In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how to make my crispy skin twice kilk toys in duck lettuce cups. They're just delicious. And I'm gonna serve it with mushroom and pak choy noodles. It takes some time, but remember, good things come to those who wait. It's actually, it's a pretty easy recipe, but there is a few different processes, so bear with me. First, rub the duck with the lemon juice, ginger, garlic, rosemary, and sea salt. Place the duck onto a rack. You can even put the, the lemon that you've just squeezed into the cavity and into the refrigerator for about four hours. What you're trying to do is dry out the skin. So remove it from the refrigerator and what you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 85 degrees. Place the duck on the tray into the oven and you're gonna bake the duck for around six hours, uncovered. Now, if you wanna leave it in a little bit longer, you can. It can be in there for eight or nine hours. Rotate the duck once or twice if you get the opportunity. Remove the duck from the oven. When you're ready to serve, preheat the oven to 250 degrees. Brush the duck generously with three quarters of the hoisin sauce and place the duck back onto the rack inside the baking tray. Get the duck back in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now remember, it's a nice hot oven, so what you're looking for is that beautiful, sticky, crispy skin. 15 to 20 minutes, remove the duck from the oven and let it sit at room temperature for about 10 minutes, just to let it cool down a touch before you have to handle it. Get your wok nice and hot. You wanna put it over a medium to high heat for about two or three minutes before you even start cooking. Drizzle with just a little bit of olive oil and then add your onions. Stir fry your onions for about a minute before you add your garlic and ginger. Stir fry that for another minute to sort of get those three things cooking together. Next, add your mushrooms. Once your mushrooms have been in for 30 seconds or so, it's time to add your pak choy. Add your pak choy, continue to toss. If your stir fry looks like it's getting a little dry, just add a little bit more oil to it. Add your spring onions, stir fry for another 30 seconds or so, and then add your snow peas. Once all of your vegetables are in, with the exception of your coriander leaves, toss it all together, and now it's time to add the noodles. Place your noodles into boiling water and allow to sit for about a minute before draining and then add into your wok. The udon noodles then get tossed together with all of those other vegetables and now you're starting to call it a stir fry. Add your sweet chili sauce, your soy sauce and your sesame oil all at the same time. Continue to stir fry, toss the stir fry together. You don't want to overcook the vegetables. So from the start of this process to now should only be about four or five minutes. Add your coriander, give it one last toss and it's time to serve. Get a nice big serving bowl, transfer your stir fry straight into the serving bowl and you're ready to go. Now your duck should be just right. Perfect, ready to handle. It's gonna be crispy skin on the outside and buttery and delicious on the inside. Just cut nice fine slices along the breast, place them on the side of the lettuce cups with the carrots, the coriander and the spring onions. Encourage your guests to make up their own. So it's a little bit like making little pancakes or little lettuce cups. You pick up a couple of slices of duck and a little bit of the coriander, a little bit of the carrot and spring onion, and then put another drizzle of the hoisin sauce on. 